we remain on a quest, you two. We remain on a quest to figure out this plantar fasciitis. Uh, thus far, the PEG 35s, the turbos, and the Vaporfly 4%, out of these three shoes, the turbos seem to be uh, making my planter hurt the most. I don't know what that's about quite yet. I, I, I need to keep running in the shoe to figure out why that might be happening. Bottom line, I'm interested in New Balance. That's right, the New Balance Beacon. So I'm on a quest again to figure this out and I'm not gonna you know, give in to the pain. Um, in fact, in fact, and this blows my mind, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, but all the research out there, you can read it, on, read up on it online, and and, I, and even in person when I've met with doctors way back about the plantar fascia. Essentially, the more stretching, the more massaging, the more icing is what I do. But those three things actually makes it feel better. And you would think that complete rest would make the plantar fasci fasciitis go away. And I think that's true to a certain extent. But in my experience, the more aggressive you are with massaging and stretching, the better it feels. Um, and it might take a couple days, but today my planter feels amazing. And uh, so, but I know, it, I know I'm not out of the woods by any means, but it just is amazing how the more aggressive you are, the better it feels. All right, I digress. We're gonna go for a quick jog in the PEG 35s, see how it feels, and then Yes, continue the quest for some beacons, some beacons, a shoe other than Nike. I love Nike, but let's let's be honest, there's other great shoes out there. So, let's go. Just seeing if they have my size, seeing if they have my size, but still on hold, still on hold. And listen, folks, I fully realize that no shoe, no running shoe is going to cure my plantar fasciitis. It could help, though. Uh, and so I'm intrigued by this New Balance Beacon because partially because of the weight. I believe, I have to double check this, it's just under eight ounces, which is very lightweight. So I'm excited about that. And it's got a lot of cushion, a lot of foam. So this will definitely be a uh, recovery shoe. But I fully realize like no shoe is gonna cure your plantar fasciitis. It's the maintenance of your body, right? Taking, it's like taking care of your car, you gotta change the oil. It's like taking care of your uh, your lawn. You got to mow your yard, and you know all that good. You got to take care of things in this world, including our bodies. So that's what I'm working on. That's what I'm working on. Oh. Ooh. Okay. All right. Well, I might uh, I might come by and you're you're actually inside the mall. We'll see. Women's might have to do a women's. That's okay. You know, I'm not afraid of uh, ladies' colors. You know, it's it's all about the fit and the feel. Colors don't really matter. My grandmother always says, "You got to take care of your feet. You got to take that's the foundation of everything. Foundation of your." your legs, which is the foundation of your torso, which is the foundation of your head. So we gotta take care of our feet. Keep our head on straight. For anyone that's a New Balance fan and you live in Denver, just so you know, there is a New Balance store, meaning they only sell New Balance products in Cherry Creek. And if you don't live in Denver, you know, or sorry, you don't know that like, Cherry Creek's a very fancy part of town. So I'm impressed, like they got a, a New Balance store in Cherry Creek, just putting that out there. All right, let's go see what's see what we can find. You, um, go ahead and bring your other foot come okay. alongside perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, it's really cool to see pressure points on your feet. Yeah. I can't believe I never knew the store was here. Oh really? Is it, has it, it been is. here a while? I'm just okay. at watching your foot and showing pressure points also shows then what arch looks like. Um, and then of course, uh, standing versus running can be a little bit different. So after this, um, after we take a look at this, I'll have you kind of walk a little bit so yeah. I can get a better idea for what's going on. But looking here and I'll follow your foot so you yeah. can get, um, for one, calluses in that area. Okay. Um, but then also it can move that pressure point in. So some okay. degree of pronation. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. Don't want to hurt your feet. Yeah. I, I don't... 
this does is add a lot more structure through your arch to kind of help that arch, but then still has some degree of movement, so it's yeah. nothing too firm, works really naturally with your foot. Wow. Adds a little bit of softness, but pretty much just kind of stabilizing your wow. foot in the shoe. Like I said, of a softer upper with it, so, um, so okay. that's the one we'll kind of make sure that we have the full nail length and then uh, just making sure we don't get any movement on this foot. Yeah. socks and, my, <laughs> and new balance. Um, cool. It's also fresh focus, yeah. Uh, Demore, so D-E, capital N-O-O-R. No E at the end. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, I'll excited. give you a high five yeah. Boom, for the for the video. No Thank yeah, you. Appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just love this place. Yeah. I'll give you guys a big shout out. And I'll say, I truly will send my buddy in. So I've been shopping <laughs> in running shoe stores for 20 years since I was in middle school. And that was the best customer service and in-store experience ever. Like she just took the time to like figure out what my foot was like and measure it and uh, just took so much. I mean, she brought out like 10 different pairs of shoes. Anyway, amazing. I would strongly, strongly recommend the Cherry Creek store, uh, the New Balance Cherry Creek store. Whew, crazy, crazy. All right, let's go run. I don't mind the baby blue. I don't mind the baby blue. Just reminds me of Michael. <gasps> this is for you, Damien. There's one. There's one. I gotta get it. Okay. was good all right first run in the baby blue new balance beacons i'll just give you one little tidbit of how they feel it's like a slipper I, I would put this running shoe in the slipper category so there's a lot of other ones there's leaves blowing everywhere and uh, there's a lot of other shoes out there that kind of fit in this category all right stay tuned going back to the house got to regenerate and then i'll give you my full thought and analysis on these shoes after the first run intriguing very intriguing did i make the right choice Laundry as a runner, always a predicament. Always, it never ends, it never ends. Laundry done, snack time. And if you're wondering why it's so quiet at the house, uh, the monkeys are with Nana. Thank you, Nana, for watching those little monkeys. AKA, love you, Joseph and Seth. All right, here we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. One of my favorite snacks. One of my favorite snacks. Happy Friday. Actually, you're probably watching this Saturday morning because that's when I'm going to publish it. But cheers to Friday. Woo, what a week. What a week, YouTube. All right, folks. Uh, I just want to be up front with you right from the beginning. This is not necessarily a running channel. Hold on. And this is not a Nike running shoe channel. Just want to make that clear. This is a life channel that happens to love running. Does that make sense? I love running. I love life, I love running. So I wanna share my passion for running with you. But I just wanna put that out there like, you know, there's a lot of new subscribers. Welcome, thank you. Thank you for commenting, thank you for subscribing. But I just wanna be upfront and transparent with all of you guys. This is a life channel that loves 
running. And yes, frankly, is falling in love with a New Balance Beacon Shoes. Uh, <laughs> wow, I don't even know where to begin. This is different, different than the Nikes, but has some similarities. Let me explain. See what I mean by a life channel? Look who just arrived. They just got home. Whoop! Say hi to YouTube, Michael. I'm wearing baby blue shoes for you. Just had to sh just had to show them off for a second. All right, I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, I'm back, guys. This is not my full review, obviously, of this shoe, the New Balance Beacon, because I've only worn it once. Come back maybe in like two weeks, and I'll give you my full thoughts after I've put. Uh, probably about 40 to 50 miles in it. I, I have a pretty good sense of this shoe after 40 to 50 miles. Let me begin with the first impression of the flexibility in this shoe. All right, look at this. Whoa, whoa. You see that? All right, you see, it's flexible. So this is very different than, very different than the Nike Vaporfly 4% Flyknit, which I'm going to be wearing tomorrow in the half marathon time trial. Come back for that video. So see this, it's so stiff, so stiff, very stiff shoe. And this guy is flexible. I don't wanna bend it too much. Why did I buy this shoe? Basically, this shoe will not heal my plantar fasciitis. I know it will not heal it. However, I'm hoping, and I believe it will happen, that this shoe will alleviate some of the pain as I work through the plantar fasciitis because of the fresh foam that is advertised about this shoe. And in the store, thank you again to Taylor at the New Balance store. You were amazing for walking me through step by step to teach me about uh, New Balance shoes. And unknown fact that you may not know, New Balance did not start as a running shoe company or a shoe company. New Balance started as a... Um, insert company meaning they they made uh inserts for shoes to help people feel more comfort comfortable back in 1906 how crazy is that like they were way ahead of the curve you know way way ahead of the curve so kudos to, to new balance i bought this shoe to help alleviate the pain of the plantar fasciitis at this point the nike pegasus turbo is actually causing me a little more pain i don't know why yet i need to wear it more to figure that out but this shoe felt amazing in the store and on my first run today through the streets of Denver uh, and the, the crunchy leaves that are falling. Isn't it so fun to run through leaves? Basically, it felt great. It was alleviating the pain a little bit, not entirely, but a little bit because of the cushion, the fresh foam that is on the bottom. Um, I would put this, this shoe also in the category of a rocker, meaning it would be really, it's a really great shoe if you are a heel striker. So you land first on your heel and then roll to your toe. So heel to toe, heel to toe, and it has that rocker feel, kind of like a Hoka. Uh, you know how Hoka boasts the uh, technology of having a rocker built into its shoe? I would put this shoe kind of in that same category, and it feels great. Remember we learned in yesterday's vlog about uppers on shoes, so the upper is the top of the shoe which wraps around the top of your foot and it's where the laces are at and I would definitely describe this upper on the New Balance Beacon um, as being incredibly comfortable. In fact more comfortable than the Nike Vaporfly 4% Flyknit. This you know I would guess that the Flyknit on the Nike is a little more lightweight but we're talking incredible comfort and that's why I keep bringing up that this shoe would fall into the category of like slipping on a slipper, but you still get enough support because the fresh foam is thick enough on the bottom through the midsole. Does that make sense? What am I gonna use the New Balance Beacon for? Recovery. I don't think I'll run more than eight miles in this shoe, maybe 10. However, they are also advertising on New Balance's website that you could run, do long runs in this shoe. I'm not sure if I'm quite ready for that, but I will definitely be using this shoe 
for recovery. The fresh foam to get a little bit of cushion, to get a little bit of recovery from that cushion, alleviate from the pounding, that is going to be the goal of using this shoe. As far as the outsole is concerned, the bottom of the shoe, it's definitely, it has a little bit of tread, but it's not made for trails. It's, a, it's an urban environment shoe, made for the roads, made for concrete. However, the, I think New Balance was pretty smart because they had fresh foam all around the bottom here, but in certain areas that receive more pounding when you're running, particularly your inside big toe and the inside metatarsal on your foot, so right, right through here, this is rubber, you can see the different color. This is harder rubber, so rubber that will withstand more mileage and more pounding and more kicking around, you know, in those urban environments. And there's also some harder rubber down here on the heel, right through here. So I think that is actually a pretty smart move by New Balance to keep the shoe really lightweight while still uh, maintaining some uh, toughness to the outsole so that you can get more mileage out of this out of this shoe. Overall, my first impressions of the New Balance Beacon is very good. I'm excited about its rocker feel, but not quite as much of a rocker as, as Hoka. And obviously the fresh foam is, it, I believe it's going to help alleviate the pain of the planter as I work through this injury. And if you suffer from PF, plantar fasciitis, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to help help you. And through my experience with the injury, I think I can give you a lot of insights as to what has worked and what has not worked. Uh, and lastly, I believe this shoe will last, I don't know, I think it'll, I think I'll get a good 200 to 250 miles out of this shoe. So that's pretty good for a recovery shoe that has a very soft outsole overall. And yes, the key word of today is fresh. Of course, comment down below if you've made it this far in the video. Thank you. Let me know that you made it this far by commenting down below with the word fresh and um, I'll keep you posted in maybe 10 days to two weeks. I'll let you know how this shoe is holding up and what I think with a full review of the performance from the, the upper to the midsole to the outsole. All right, time to get the groceries. Is there anything better than grocery day? I submit that there is not. I think on it is, um, is. Basically my favorite dessert in the entire world, pumpkin pie. Oh, this should fuel the uh, half marathon well tomorrow. Folks, question of the day, part one. Do you, do you own a pair of the New Balance Beacons? If you do, what do you think of the shoe? Comment below, thank you, thank you. Part two to question of the day. If you don't own a pair of New Balance Beacons, that's okay. What has been your best shoe buying experience in your entire life? Doesn't have to be running shoes. If it is, great. But what has been your best in-store running shoe or running or shoe experience, purchasing experience in your entire life. Comment below, I'd appreciate it. And I think a lot of other people would appreciate it as well because they're reading your comments. You know, when you share your thoughts, like a lot of people are sifting through these comments trying to learn from you. So think about it, let me know, and I'd appreciate it. Seek beauty, work hard, eat some pumpkin pie, mm, and love each other. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Half marathon. Half marathon.